The number of yearly high-risk fire days in Southern California could double by the end of the century. A new UCLA study claims increased temperatures brought on by climate change are to blame. KTLA 5's OC Bureau Chief Chip Yost is live in Buena Park with what this means for Southern California residents. Hi, Chip. Hey there, Glenn and Lou. Some firefighters at this fire station and others who are sick of getting called out to wildfires probably aren't going to like the results of this study. This study looked specifically at Southern California, at the conditions in Southern California, and also looked at climate change models and combined all of that information to try to predict what wildfires would look like here in Southern California in the future. This scene in Laguna Beach last week was somewhat unusual. A wildfire driven by hot temperatures, dry fuel, and heavy winds was burning on a winter day in February. But a new study suggests we could expect more of these out-of-season fires in the decades to come. We're interested in how climate change might drive wildfires in the future. Glenn McDonald is a geography professor at UCLA, and he was part of a team that looked at how different climate scenarios could affect wildfires in Southern California. In the study, a moderate emission scenario assumes that more mitigation efforts to limit man-made greenhouse gases have been taken than in the other high emission scenario. We ran two scenarios. A sort of a lower carbon scenario, maybe five degree warming. Uh, the high carbon uh, scenario, about nine degrees warming. And we looked what would happen to the number of these large fire days. And oh my gosh, by 2100, does it really change things? Currently in Southern California, there are about 36 days a year that have conditions that could lead to large fires. Under the high emission scenario, the study found that number would nearly double to 71 days by the end of the century or to 58 days under the moderate scenario. McDonald hopes the study helps prompt some action. I, I don't want to be doom and gloom. I think that we can get ahead on this. We've, 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 you know, we, we're a nation and a people that, that move ahead and we try to find solutions. And I think we can find solutions to this. And our study just kind of helps highlight the dangers. And I know there's a lot of creativity and innovation in this state that we're going to find solutions. So now, just last week, we heard Orange County Fire Authority's chief say there really is no fire season anymore. It's fire year. And this study kind of reiterates that. They say fire season as we know it would probably extend under this scenario. We'll see be more of these large fire, potential large fire days out of the tr traditional fire season, just like we did last week in Laguna Beach. For now, reporting live in Buena Park, I'm Chip Yost, KTLA 5 News.